eight kids total in the, in the program this year. This is our first year, so we didn't want to overwhelm ourselves. Um, but we have all these wonderful lambs, and we, you know, kind of love on them and, and make sure they're nice and sweet. <laughs> um, and then teach the kids how to, how to show them um, at, at fair. And the kids have ribbons and all kinds of other things. And then, like I said, they each get to sell their lamb. Um, some of the kids are actually still uh, in placement with Housing and Human Services, so they're foster children. And um, for those kids, if they sell their lamb, they get to put it in like a trust fund for them, so that maybe by the time they turn 18, they have a little something. Hold them up to your chest. There you go. I'm going to need help with this one. Good. Okay, now you can hold them like you work. This is something that I do as a, as a passion and a great pastime for myself and my family, and it's something that we really want to help these kids get into and kind of continue my passion into, into other people and other kids and uh, continue on how everybody gets their food on their tables. Everybody's going into computers and stuff, and it's just nicer to come out and get dirty. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. The kids also learn, especially once their lambs get assigned to them, they learn responsibility. They have to come out once a week, clean the animal's pen, make sure it has food and water. Throughout the week, Chris and I will take care of that, just you know, making sure they're, they're good. And we cover all their health stuff and whatever, but you know, we want the kids to learn to learn, you know, what it is to, to love an animal and to have it kind of, you know, love you back and it gets used to just you, which is kind of a special thing. Sometimes when you're at a farm, kind of the whole point is to get messy. You're going to get messy one way or another. Nothing stays clean on a farm.